Okay, so what we've got here, our Institute, Year 2 Fabrication Night Class. Um, we've got a pipe junction pattern development. So our pipe is um, 200 millimeters diameter. I've just done a side elevation of it. And we've got a pipe coming in here at 150 diameter. Um, and we need to determine this joint line here and lay our patterns out from there. So in here, I project it up uh, from the side elevation up to the whole pattern. You're going to develop the whole pattern and then you're going to lay out the uh, development of the pipe junction itself. So I go into our third drawing. This is it done, all developed. So the joint line has been developed and then I've done the hole and the pattern. That's what it looked like once you've finished it. A uh, few dimensions on there. So into here, I put the basics on the sheet to try and speed the process up once again. Although I have sat here and drawn this four times today and still made some, excuse me, some incremental mistakes. So very first thing we need to do is draw our circle on our end of our pipe like we always do. You've done this quite a few times. You will remember that it's easier for you to do it with the compass than it is for me to do it inside the computer pre program because I've got to do it slightly differently. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm just going to draw these little circles here. You don't have to do this. And I'm going to trim all that detail out. Just to speed it up. Or make it clearer. Uh, actually, I should have had to delete for those as well. I didn't. And I'm going to trim off just below the baseline because we don't need that. So there's our uh, points on the end of our pipe. We need to draw lines from those uh, down to the joint line. Uh, on a 45 degree angle. Uh, you will do that with a set square or a protractor that I've, uh, those big steel protractors. When you do it on steel or you'll be using a smaller protractor, sorry I missed that one, smaller protractor when you're drawing it out on paper. So there's our points projected down. I'm going to load all those on to projection lines so they're projection lines and we'll just drop those in as projection lines as well quickly okay so that's for the on the side there so how do we determine what our end view looks like so instead of drawing a plan view we're going to draw us a, a end view of the two pipes intersecting out on the end here uh, I'm just going to draw a random line in here. I've done that about 10 times already today, so we'll just stick that there. We're going to extend the end of the pipe up because I just need to do that. Do it properly, Mark. And so this radius here is 75 millimeters. We need to draw that in here as well, so it sits on the end here. 75 millimeters and I'm going to extend the top of the pipe across to that point and I'm going to trim some of this detail out uh, which one do I want that one as well so that's gone that's gone that's gone that one there's gone this one here why am I trimming that out no, I've had this issue today before. What am I doing wrong here? Anyway, push on. We'll trim that off there and we'll get rid of that line there. Not sure what's happening with that. I want to trim this other half of the circle off because I don't need it. But I can push on without it, without worrying about it. Then we put our points back in the other way. Uh, focus on what you're doing. So just drawing those in again, you don't have to do that with small arcs, but I need to with this. And just trim all that detail out again. 
onto the onto the get rid of that get rid of that get rid of the circles one and two now those points there project vertically down onto the larger circle so this one here comes down to the circle here this one here comes down and this one here comes down so this is where our joint line, the 75 millimeter pipe coming in and hitting the 100 mil, clearly doesn't come right to the outside edge because, as I said, they were on a center line. This being the center line, this line up through here. So once I've got those points, I can project them across the sheet. That's what we're going to do. So those points horizontally across to the end. I'll take them right to the end. I don't need to, but it's just easier for me to do that. And I'll trim them out later. Last one in there. They're all projection lines. So we'll load them up as projection lines. And stick that into there. There we go. So now we can start to lay our joint in. Actually, I'm going to number it first. So we'll turn the numbering on. So the throat line, uh, this line here is zero. The one on the heel is six, numbered through. So the center line is three. When we rotate it the 90 degrees and stick it onto the end of the pipe, the three, instead of being in the middle, actually sits right out on the edge here and is by itself. Uh, the zero and the six, if we look in um, towards the pipe on a 90 degree angle, we find that this line here is zero and six. The next one is one and five. Next one is two and two, uh, two and four. So wherever three comes across and hits three, we get this intersection point within the center of the square. Uh, two and four. Well, these are lines. Um, two and four. This one coming across. So we've get, got this intersection at this point here in the middle of the square and at this one here. So I can start to lay the joint line in. From the outside, point number four, point three, two, one, and zero. Close it out. Got an end point. So there's our joint line. I'm just going to trim up some of the material off here uh, just to get rid of it, tidy it up a wee bit. And we'll get rid of those ones there as well. Do that right. So here's our joint line. That's what we needed to. Uh, one of the first things we needed to do to determine where we were heading. Uh, the next point is we need to stick some dimensions on here. So when we lay it out uh, up the top here, this line here is the center line, uh, and that distance goes from this intersection. Uh, right on the end here and the pink square and this on this end and the pink square that's actually the length of the actual layout and where do we get the dimensions from to lay it out well we go from um, this point here which is zero we go across to one the next one is from one to two and the next one is from two to three and then it goes back up this three here heads back up and goes to four uh, four to five and five to six. That's a bit confusing. All you need to know is that these dimensions, these three dimensions here are the ones where you need to lay our pipe out uh, on. So I'm going to lay them in here quickly. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate this in the class as you know anyway. So this is just some reinforcement at home when you come to do these things. Next line is uh, what have we got? 32.116 on either side and then the last one is 13.987 on either side. So that's the rollout width of the actual pieces. Now the line for zero uh, actually goes to the very center one so it goes to make sure I'm on the right one that one there and six actually goes to the center one as well 
five. Well, I'm going to run them to the outside. It's the easiest way for me to do it for you. Just to try and speed it up again. Three to the outside line. Two intersection to the outside line. And one intersection to the outside line. These are all projection lines. So we'll put those on projection lines. So what I need to do, this line being three is the center. I'm going to draw my lines in, or line in. So into the uh, intersecting these points. Three, four, five, and back to six. Close that out. Got an end point and done. So there's my joint line, uh, my rolled out pattern of the whole. So we'll just clear some of this stuff out on the outside of it. And that one there, and get rid of that one there. So that's the whole pattern. Uh, we'll turn off these dimension lines, we don't need those. Just try and keep the drawing as pretty simple as possible. So the next thing, uh, this line up here is actually the rollout length. Um, so 150 millimeter diameter, uh, that's the rollout length for that. And I've just thrown this vertical line in on the end, uh, this perpendicular line to that because that'll be where the actual uh, lines project across to. So I'm going to draw those lines from, so going from zero up on a 45 degree angle. I'm just going to type in a number here because I haven't really measured it to see what I need. I'm going to put in 800. It's still not going far enough. So the next ones are going to be quite a bit longer. So from point number two up on a 45 degree angle, we'll do about a 1050. There we go, that's long enough. Point number two, sorry, that was, yep, point number two, 1050. Point number three, can be a bit shorter now, 1000. Point number four, 1000. Point number five, yeah, it's pretty close. This, these two points here are very close. And come back in here. And point number six is actually slightly shorter than point number five. Type in a thousand again. So there's my lines projected up the sheet. We just need to extend number one up to there. And I actually need to extend this line across to here. So I'm going to trim those off. Um, get rid of those. Yep, that's that done. So they're projection lines once again. So we'll just lay these in as projection lines. Uh, get the last one. Squeeze into it. So these are projection lines up the sheet. Now I'm going to divide my uh, length coming back the other way. So uh, calculator on the screen. The rollout length I've got here at 471.59. Divide it by 12 equal increments. Uh, because on the top of the pipe we went from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6. There's 6 points back around the other side. So we've got this rollout or the offset length of 39. Point uh, two, I'm just writing that down on a piece of paper. I did it before and set it in wrong. So laying these lines in, come back onto the screen mark, laying them in. So we've got 39.2992. So quickly laying these across here. And they are all, I'll leave the two end ones as outlines. Everything else is a 
projection line. That's that done. And our joint line is going to be on three. So I'll put that in as a line down here. And so I've got that in white. That's correct. And it's all numbered there. So because the joint line is on three, my numbering up this end starts with three, goes down to zero, from zero up to six, and then back down to three. So when we come to lay the pattern in, uh, this being three is the start point, this intersection here. So we're going to go from there, SPL for spline line. So there's three, down to two, to one. I need to zoom in a bit here. Jumps about a bit when you're doing this. Up to two, up to three, four. Now five is the actual longer line of them all. So it's actually out on the outside here. And then it comes back into six. Oh, okay, done that wrong. So go back to the start. Picked up four then. So three, two, one. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm going to get this right this time, otherwise they'll be screaming, so it's 5, the next one in was 6, and then we go back out to 5, and then into 4, and we finish on three. And I need to close that out. And have I missed a point? End point. And that does not look right, does it? This curve on this end. I've actually gone and bumped it as I've gone and put it in. So I'm going to do it again joys of doing a drawing for my students. Come on. I should be editing this, but I haven't got time for it. So SPL. So start again. 3 through to 2 to 1 to 0. 1, 2, 3, 4 to the outside 5 back into 6, back out to 5, on to 4, now try and hit this correctly mark, T, and an end point, that's it, done. So there's that pattern, I'm going to trim some of this rubbish off here. The actual middle one in the center that gets trimmed out as well. And what will I do? I'll get rid of the verticals. And I'll probably leave the horizontals in there. Okay. So zoom back out. Oh, there's a line that I can get rid of. Recent inputs, trim. Up to there, get rid of that. So there is our pattern. Uh, we had to draw the joint line from there. We've developed the uh, profile of the of the hole when it's rolled out, and from there we have gone and developed our joint line across the uh, circumference of 150 times pi. That's our pattern for our layout. So that's all you need to do. Uh, I'm going to save that. And that is the development for this drawing here. You can get some uh, homework on doing those. You can refer to that drawing and it will show you what to do if you're not confident after having done them in class one or two times. Leave it there, thank you.